Welcome to another episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 8, and this is brought to you by CodeKarate.com. Today we are going to look at the redirect module. And this can be important for a variety of reasons, but it can really help with a few that I'll talk about right now. The first is if you are creating a Drupal site and you maybe you're migrating off off of a previous site whether it was just HTML or a, a WordPress site or any other type of site and you're migrating to Drupal and you have a whole bunch of paths that need to change. You could always do this in an HT access file or something to that extent but using the redirect module makes it very easy to make sure that any of your old paths on your site get redirected to correct paths on your new Drupal site. And this is really important for SEO reasons. The other thing is if you end up changing a path on your site and you want to make sure that if anyone else had a link out there that pointed to that old page that it will get redirected to the new page. And this is also important if you have other people linking to pages on your site and you want to make sure that they're not going to run into a situation where they get a page not found. So the first thing we're going to do is we have our test site here. I'm going to download the redirect module. Okay, so now that is downloaded. And we'll go ahead and enable it. And if you're in Drupal 6, it was called Path Redirect, I believe. But in Drupal 7, it's just the redirect module. And so now that we have the module installed, we will go to configuration and you'll see that there is now a URL redirects setting. And this allows you to add redirects. So let's go ahead and say we want to add a redirect. And let's say on your old site, you had a page called contact.php. So we'll say it was just a basic PHP site. And we now want to redirect that to just the front page. We can do something like that. And now we always want to use the 301 for SEO reasons generally. So now if we had a we didn't have a contact page on this site, for instance, we wanted to make the contact.php page redirect to the front page now this would work. So if you try to go up here, you try to go contact.php, you would get redirected to the front page. So that way if you had a, if someone else had a link out there pointing to that page on your site, if they click that link, they'll still end up on the front page of your site rather than getting a 404 page. So let's go ahead and let's add some content. I'm going to add a basic page call this test page we'll leave everything else the same so this is just a test page and you can see if you go into edit there's a URL redirect section and it says that there's no redirects here let's go ahead and create a path alias for this called test-page and we'll save that. And now you'll notice the URL up here is slash test dash page. We can then come back into the edit and you'll see that the URL redirect there still isn't any. But if we want to change this to test page 2 and we come back in here there's now a redirect from test page to this new or to this test page content so what this means is if I go to slash test dash page it's going to redirect me to test page 2 so what the redirect module does is it keeps track of any time you change the URL of a specific node page in this example and to just make sure that if for some reason there was a link out there pointing to that old URL it will automatically be redirected to the correct page. There's also a module which m many of you are probably familiar with called Path Auto 
which is another good path related module that I'm not going to talk about now because I'm guessing most of you've probably heard of it or used it but if not you should definitely look at it as it will make it'll make it so you don't have to specify a URL alias when you're creating a page or any other piece of content so instead of having to manually come in here and set a URL alias you can set up certain patterns that will automatically be created for you automatically so that's really all there is to cover today the redirect module is just a simple module that can make your life easier and help your website for SEO reasons and just usability reasons so p people aren't finding uh, 404 pages or page not found and just makes your life easier uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at smthomas3 if you're not already and subscribe to my codekarate.com newsletter until next time thanks for watching